Hey, hello, everybody. It's your Claude here, or Uncle Claude, or whatever you want to call me. I think it's time for a dose of common sense. I, I love watching YouTube and videos and podcasts, and I hear a lot of conflicting information, and I worry about you guys. I think you're going to hear some stuff from some other people, and you're going to take it to heart, and it doesn't make sense to me. And I hope it doesn't make sense to you. Let's start with a few things. There's one very well-known guru who says, don't buy your own home. Um, start your business, work your business, and then buy your home later. Um, I bought a home as soon as I could. You're going to pay rent anyway. So if you give up a few things, a dinner out, maybe a vacation or something like that, and you get your own home, you get tax benefits, you get appreciation, you get improved credit, you get a place you can call your own, your own home. You can eventually refinance that home. That's exactly what I did. I had a little condo that I bought when I first got started. I was in my 20s. That condo cost me $25,000. I sold it, I believe, around $180,000 years later. I refinanced it twice. I took that money to buy other properties. I still had my own property, my own home. Instead of paying rent, I paid it towards my property. I tax benefit. Once again, tax benefits. I had appreciation. Where can you make from twenty five thousand to one eighty? Where could you make that kind of money except in real estate? And I had a place to live. Was it tough sometimes? Sure, making that mortgage and all that other stuff. It was hard. So I gave up a few things. Big deal. For that, I have security. So that's one of the myths I hear. Another myth is that you shouldn't get into real estate right away as a business. You should do some other business. I heard this just recently from a guru. Real estate's a wonderful business. I studied real estate. I learned it. I went to seminars. I went to good real estate clubs. I went to other seminars and some were good and some were not so good. I got involved in real estate though. I had a great mentor, Max, who taught me how to control real estate with lease options. So even though I didn't have a lot of money, I still had the ability to control properties without purchasing them, without overhead, without, um, without paying the taxes or the repairs or the insurance and, and the high maintenance on the property. I could control it by renting it and then I could sublet it, assign it or arbitrage it and do all those wonderful things. So learn, get into real estate, get a real estate license or get a mentor, get a good mentor who talks to you on the phone. They, uh, these other mentors who hand you off to telemarketers, if I call it. Listen, they wouldn't work for them for nine, 10, $15 an hour if they were smart enough to have their own business, duh. So make sure that when you get a mentor, okay, doesn't have to be me, this is not a commercial, but make sure you get somebody who answers the phone, who talks to you, gives you accountability, gives you good value. If you spend a thousand and you make 10,000, that's good value. Find those kind of people who are doing business honestly and successfully, okay? Then let's, here's another myth that I hear. I'm hearing so many of, the majority of the trainers out there are still using 1950 and 60 marketing techniques. They're talking about mailers and postcards and, and things like that. And I'm sorry, there's this wonderful new invention. Ready? Can I have a drum roll, please? It's called the internet. Okay. We can do all our marketing. I don't shit here. Big point here. Pay attention. I don't chase customers. I don't have to chase cold calls and things like that. My customers come to me because I put out great content. You can do it too. You can do it on YouTube. I have God, close to 800 videos on YouTube with great free information. I give away a lot of free stuff on my webpage, ClaudeDiamond.com. You can, oh my gosh, you can do so many different things on the internet. You can do podcasts. You can do Instagram pictures. You can do all these things. People will discover you. They will call you. They will text you. They will email you. They will go to your webpage. You can do all that. They can even schedule. I have a calendar on my webpage. It's included on the wonderful webpage that I use. And it's so much easier, and here's the biggie, biggie, guys, zero. I spend no money to do my promotions on YouTube and, and, and Twitter and uh, um, uh, Facebook and some other uh, wonderful social media outlets. So learn, learn social media and market. Then the other thing, there's many different ways to make money in real estate. You can do real estate, learn a strategy where you have a minimal liability, where you have great leverage. Learn how to consult in real estate. Learn a specific area so that in between deals, you have additional cash flows, okay? That's how I survived in the beginning. I didn't have a lot of money. I, I did a few deals and, in, and it was kind of feast and famine. Then I got into writing books about it. Then I got into producing packages about it. Then I got into consulting 
consulting and eventually mentoring. If I can do it, if a schmo like me from New York City can do it, you guys can do it and you can probably even do it better because nobody deserves success more than you. But let's separate the myths from the reality, okay? Let's get back to some common sense. Give good phone, learn a specific strategy, work like hell, and you'll see wonderful, th you'll see magic happen all the time. This is Claude Diamond. I do answer my own phone. Why doesn't everybody else do that? 970-281-5151. Take care.